you should be a monster. Yes, you heard it right. But not the kind that causes harm for the sake of it. I'm talking about the kind of monster that understands its own power and chooses to use it wisely. This idea might sound paradoxical at first, but bear with me. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to navigate life effortlessly while others still struggle? It's not about being aggressive or dominating. It's about understanding and harnessing your own strength. The strength that comes from embracing your darker side and learning to use it responsibly. So why is it important to become a monster? Well, to know that you have to stick around till the end. Because understanding this could change the way you see yourself and others. So let's dive in. Beyond strength and virtue. There's a saying that goes, It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. It's an old expression, but it makes sense. This idea perfectly captures the concept of true strength and virtue. True virtue doesn't come from being harmless or incapable of causing harm. If you are harmless, it's like being a rabbit. You're not just able to do anything other than be eaten or taken advantage of. There's no choice involved, just weakness. Even when you develop inner strength and self-control, you have the power to cause harm but choose not to. This choice is what makes you truly virtuous. Imagine someone who knows martial arts. They have the skills to defend themselves or fight if necessary, but they don't go around picking fights. Instead, their strength gives them the confidence to walk away from the trouble because they know they can handle themselves if things get tough. The balance of power and control makes them formidable and respected. Let's say you are the party and a heated argument breaks out. Two people start solving each other and it's clear things could get ugly. Instead of jumping into the fight, you step in calmly using your presence and confidence to cool down the situation. You separate the two, talk them down and restore peace without anyone getting hurt. Your inner strength, your monster is there. But you control it and use to help others rather than harm. By understanding and controlling your inner monster, you can handle tough situations more effectively. You don't avoid conflict because you are scared. You avoid it because you know you are strong enough to handle it if it arises. This makes you a true source of peace and order in your life and the lives of others. Self-respect and confidence Have you ever wondered why some people seem to come and respect the moment they walk into a room? What if I told you it's because they have made peace with their inner monster? Self-respect isn't about loving yourself, it's about understanding and managing all parts of yourself, even the ones you don't like. This includes recognizing the darker, more aggressive side of your personality, what some refer to as your shadows. By acknowledging these tendencies and learning to control them, you build a deep sense of self-respect. When you realize you have the ability to be strong and aggressive and have learned to control this power, you naturally become more confident. This confidence isn't about being arrogant or demanding. It's a peaceful assurance that comes from within. People who have integrated their shadows are less likely to be scared or taken advantage of. Their presence alone commands respect because they radiate a sense of confidence and strength. Now, if you have watched the anime Vinland Saga, Thorfinn, the protagonist, goes through a significant transformation in season 2. Early in the series, Thorfinn is driven by revenge and anger. His darker tendencies control him, leading to a life filled with violence and turmoil. However, by season 2, we get to see a different Thorfinn. He starts to reflect on his past actions and realizes that his anger and desire for revenge have only caused him pain and suffering. Instead of continuing down this path, Thorfinn begins to confront his darker side. He acknowledges his mistakes and the emotions that led him to make those choices. He learns to control his anger rather than allowing it to control him. This shift allows him to develop a sense of self-respect, and as Thorfinn's confidence grows, so does the respect others have for him. He becomes a leader not through fear but through the respect he commands by being true to himself and demonstrating control over his darker impulses. Thorfinn's journey is a true reminder that confronting and integrating our darker tendencies can lead to a greater self-respect and confidence. By acknowledging these aspects of ourselves and learning to control them, we can transform our weaknesses into strengths. Which brings us to point number three, that is the power of responsibility. Taking on responsibilities is like accepting the role of the captain. It means you are in charge of your own life and at times the well-being of others. This can seem daunting but it's essential for personal growth and finding true purpose. 
When you take care of yourself, you're ensuring that you have the strength and capacity to handle whatever life throws your way. This includes managing your physical wealth, mental well-being and personal goals. Now, this responsibility doesn't stop at self-care. It extends to those around you, your family and even your friends. By looking after your loved ones, you are creating a support system where everyone can grow and prosper. This can mean offering a helping hand when they are in need, providing emotional support or even just being present there. To make this idea clear, let's look at Tanjiro from the anime Demon Slayer. Tanjiro's story is a perfect example of taking responsibility. After a demon attacks his family and turns his sister Nezuko into a demon, he doesn't give up. Instead, he takes on the immense responsibility of finding a cure for Nezuko and protecting her from any harm. Tanjiro's journey is filled with challenges, but his sense of responsibility keeps him going. He trains hard to become a strong demon slayer, not just for himself, but to protect Nezuko and others suffering from the same fate as his family. His dedication to his sister shows how taking responsibility can give your life direction and strength, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Similarly, accepting responsibility in our own lives can help us find purpose and grow as individuals. It's about taking the first step in caring for yourself and your loved ones and standing up for what you believed in. Embrace and transform your dark side. Have you ever felt like there's a part of you that you'd rather hide away? Think about the traits you don't like in yourself, the ones you are maybe a little ashamed of. It could be anger, jealousy or selfishness. Instead of ignoring these traits or pretending they don't exist, self-improvement requires acknowledging them. Why? Because these traits hold power. When you understand and accept them, we can turn them into our strengths. By understanding your capacity for negative behavior, you gain control over it. This control allows you to make effective use of your darker traits. Instead of letting them run wild, you can direct them towards achieving your goals and protecting what matters to you. This is what I mean by becoming a monster. Not in the sense of being harmful, but in having the power and the control to choose when and how to use it. Let's say you are someone who struggles with jealousy, especially in your professional life. You might find yourself feeling envious of colleagues who seem to be more successful. Now, instead of letting this jealousy eat away at you, acknowledge it. Ask yourself why you feel this way. Is it because you feel undervalued or insecure about your own achievements? By understanding the source of your jealousy, you can start to transform it. Next, use that energy positively. Channel your jealousy into motivation. Let it push you to improve your skills, seek out new opportunities and work harder. Over time, that trait which held you back becomes a driving force for your own success. And you have taken a negative emotion and turned it into a source of strength and resilience. So what it comes down to is this. Embracing your darker side isn't about becoming cruel or aggressive. It's about acknowledging that we all have the potential for both good and harm. It's like knowing that you have the teeth but choosing not to bite. This is a difficult road because it requires us to confront our uncomfortable truths about ourselves. But it is necessary for the personal growth. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.